Hello everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back. I have some products to share with you courtesy of Spellbinders. They recently reached out and asked if I would like to play with some of their goodies and of course I jumped on the opportunity and said absolutely. So they sent me a surprise in the mail. This is what I got. So let's go through that and then we'll make some cards. So first they sent me this adorable little Spellbinders keychain of their newest die cutting machine. So adorable to have in the craft room. So stinking cute. I will leave uh, links to all of the products below in the description area if you're interested in checking these out further. So the first stamp set and coordinating die that they sent me is the Fire Up the Grill, which is adorable. So these are stamp sets with coordinating dies. So for this one, the stamps are all of the sentiments plus one of the little marshmallows. And then you get a grill, a barbecue tool, and the little pieces for a s'more, which is absolutely adorable. I love the sentiment mallow out. So cute. So that's the first one. The second one they sent is Grateful. So this is a really great stamp set for thank you cards and I'm excited to play around with these little cuties. Look at this little great with the smiley face. Love that. So I will be making some cards with that. They also sent me craft foam. So there's two pieces in here. It's not adhesive at all, but it's nice and thick. I think this will be great for shaker cards as well as just adding dimension on cards. This is going to have a super shine to it. So this is the platinum pack number three. So in this pack, you get some white thick cardstock, some gold foil paper, and some silver foil paper. And you get, uh, you get a lot. I don't know if it says how many sheets. Nine pieces. So that's great. They also sent me this platinum pack number five. This contains cork, corrugated cardboard, and balsa wood. So there's six pieces in here. I haven't opened this up yet. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So some thin adhesive back cork. Look at this. This is like actual wood. A nice thickness to it. That's cool. And then some cor corrugated pieces. So here's the stamp sets again. Thank you Spellbinders for sending me all of these great goodies. Now let's make some cards. So the first stamp I'm gonna play with is the Fire Up the Grill. I'm making two clean and simple cards using this stamp set that comes with dies. So I cut out all of the little pieces with the cardstock that came in one of the packages that Spellbinder sent me. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide and Distress Inks just to give these some color. So I'm using Antique Linen for the Graham Cracker and the Marshmallow. And I'm using Vintage Photo just to darken those up a little bit. So the Graham Cracker looks like a nice light brown and then I will add some of the vintage photo to the marshmallow as well to look like it has been nicely toasted. Once I get that done I'm going to color the little chocolate piece with gathered twigs and walnut stain. And the little chocolate and the graham crackers actually have some raised embossing to them. It, you probably would never be able to see it on the video but in the close-up with the cards you might be able to see it so it adds a fun detail to these cute little die cuts and being able to die cut out the images and then use your distress oxides you can color these up with alcohol markers or zig markers whatever your coloring preference is so very versatile and lots of fun so I'm just about finished coloring all of these up. I'm using my Tim Holtz Tonic Travel Stamp platform to stamp the sentiment. It's s'more fun when we're together. I absolutely love the script that they've used for their sentiments. I just cut out a white panel and 
when I saw it, I thought it looked kind of white. So I decided to get out my antique linen and sort of make it resemble the toasted marshmallow, which I think just added an extra layer of fun to this card. So I'm also going to bring out the vintage photo so that I can give it some of that kind of toasted look. And I think that really, like I said, just gave the card a little something extra, especially when it is such a clean and simple card. So I'm just going to go back with the antique linen again and just blend in the vintage photo so that it is a nice smooth blend. And of course, I got my fingers in the VersaFine ink. So I'm just using a white eraser to get that ink up before it dries. One more quick layer of ink just to get that the color that I want it to be. And then we will move on. So I'm going to be using some Nina Desert Storm cardstock just to kind of give a an edge to this front panel. And I think that just gives it a little bit of definition from the white card base. So I'm going to adhere that onto my card base. My idea for this card when I saw the sentiment was a Miss You card. Because the little pieces are not together, I thought it would be cute to have them all on the front of the card and as if they're representing four friends who are not together but are supposed to be together. So I used the little smiley face from the stamp set that came in this stamp and die set. I used a black glaze pen. And then I just felt like it needed a little something. So I'm using the Gina K ink cube. This is the first time I used this ink. I think I was a little bit heavy handed, uh, but you can use this ink with any coloring medium. So I'm going to use my Copic markers to color this heart in. So I'm using R29, R24, and R22. And then I felt like it needed a little bit something else. So I'm bringing in the Lawn Fawn Just For You Labels stamp set. And I'm using my Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink. There's the tiniest little heart in that stamp set. And so I just kind of scattered them around the card to bring in a little bit of color. And I didn't quite get them stamped to my liking. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush and fill it in with the Distress Oxide ink. So for the inside of the card, I am going to stamp a sentiment. I'm going to show that here in a second. And I'm using Paper Smooch's Scripty Sayings. This is a really old stamp set, but I love it. So I'm using the Miss You sentiment. And then I was thinking afterwards, after I finished the card, it would really be cute to put that s'more together so it looks like a s'more. Uh, as if they have now found each other and are complete. So there's card number one. Next we'll move on to card number two after the still shot here. And card number two I wanted to play with the barbecue barbecue grate. So I'm using Distress Oxide in Candied Apple and Fossilized Amber and I wanted to make like a fire pit background. So I'm going to blend those together so that there's an orange in the middle as well. So it looks like the barbecue is actually lit. So I'm just trying to see if I have enough inking and I wanted to make sure I got some more of the candied apple and then the fossilized amber out to the edges. So I die cut the barbecue grill using the silver foil paper from Spellbinders. And I'm going to stick it onto, I used Canson XL watercolor paper for the background. It blends with the Distress inks nicely. I'm just going to trim that up now that I've adhered it onto the grill with my Deluxe Nouveau Adhesive Glue. And then this is going to be the star of the show. So I'm going to have it fairly centered on the card. I glued that down and then I'm using my favorite sentiment in this stamp set that says Mallow Out. So I'm going to arrange three of the 
marshmallows onto the grill. I had gotten a fingerprint, so I just used my cloth there to wipe that off. And then I cut out the little barbecue fork with the silver paper. And I also cut out the barbecue fork with the Canson XL water paper as well so that I could color that up with my Distress Oxides for the handle. And then I placed that on to the grill and my card is finished. So I hope you enjoyed these cards. All of the links to the products will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for some cards using the Grateful stamp set that I showcased in this video as well.